Hi everybody, this is CVGS, I'm the captain here, I got them sir. Hi. Oh, hey. Yes, <laughs> we are using dub voices right now because today we have ourselves uh, a little late on it, but we have ourselves GPT-14. Yes. For, uh, for Vega, this is uh, Divine Dragon Apocrypha. Uh, Apocrypha, yep. yes, and do you know the name in, in Japanese? In Japanese, the name is Ryujin, Ryujin Retsuden. Ryujin Retsuden. Yes, so on the front here, we go straight into this right now. On the front here, you can see the it's covered by Kazuma in his suit form, which we've never ever seen just yet. Now we have. Now we have. <laughs> then Kono back to them, next to him. And in the front here, the main bad guy, the main ZR in this set, which is Gize. <laughs> that name just frightens me. Well, not really. So, uh, but anyways, we're just going through the box. We got our hands on the box right now. So let's just look around. So you can see the front here. It's a nice um, orange, a bit plain looking, right? A bit of the print. I'll, I'll be honest. It looks like other crap. <laughs> not not because of what's inside or, or what to expect out of it, but really, they have kind of. Okay, they have dropped in quality. Yeah, it feels a little bit different compared to the Stargate uh, booster uh, yeah. that we opened not too long ago, uh, which you guys can see on this channel right now. But let's just look around on the size now. Now, this is a 20 pack box. Uh, then uh, on the back here, you can see cutouts for Dust, yeah. one of the other ZRs, and, and Ultima. Ultima. So you can cut this out and use them as uh, cut dividers and... Or to comfort stuff. yourself if you don't really get them. Yeah, to comfort yourself <laughs> if you don't really get them, even though you want them very much. Alright, so let's just get into the opening of the box right now, there's not okay. much. Alrighty, so uh, as I posted before in the Stargate Booster, uh, we do have in our hands here the deck recipes, the deck list, the cut list and the deck recipes for for each of the clans. Now if you want us to to like give this uh, our analytical mind and just see how the deck kind of looks like, do let us know in the description box below if you want us to analyze these deck lists. Uh, something you would like to do. Yep. Uh, and other than that, what else is there? Okay, this is uh, Visual TCG Real Time High Shinchu. So I think they are trying to promote um, Vanguard, Buddy Fight and Waishwas on their official websites. Mm -hmm. So you can go and check them out on their official websites, their official Twitters, and uh, a lot of other things. But basically that's about it. If you want to find more information, this is it. And mm -hmm. on the other side, we have Triple Monster S. Triple Monsters, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe this is kind of a new product. The artwork is very reminiscent to Digimon side, uh, the, the Cyber Swift series. Mm. I have no idea what this is. So we'll just put it aside while the pop goes off and let's pop into <coughs> the box right now. As yep. you can see the pack right now. Uh, the pack is similar, uh, it feels a little less quality. Once again, we do have to mention the quality has gone down a little bit with this one. Yep. So yeah, but let's see what cards we can get here. So before that, we have to mention the dividers. Inside. Yeah, we always keep forgetting the dividers and yep. the fancy work inside. Right. So. First of all, on the left side, we have Kazuma with Chrono. And on the other side, we have Kazuma, Chrono, and I cut off the, the, the other half. You middle. Swap, <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> Okay, but okay, not really important, but these are just uh, keyboard tokens that if, if you feel like you have a lot of time to waste in your hands, you can cut these out and use them uh, for your games. Mm -hmm. But you, knowing us, we don't need that because we got CGI, like <laughs> gold quality CGI. We got special okay. effects for you guys right now. So right. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight to opening now. One, Whoever gets eight, the most Jabas, he takes the, le the, the left side and the right side. So it's 8 each. Yeah, eight each. Okay. Oh, there's sixteen there. Not sixteen only. Sixteen. Okay. Yep. So yeah. Um, let's, do let's do this. First. Oh, that's one. It's a reprint. Oh yeah. Oh, Skubonakan. Oh, I hit the first triple R. Damn it. Chrono. Uh, Chrono Jet Dragon Z. So <laughs> it's been a while. Chrono Jet so Dragon. And the other one is the heal trigger for Genesis, which is for air. So yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Uh, what else do we have here? Well, I got another World Pardon 4. I think it's Liberots. Oh, yeah, it's Liberot. It's Liberot. Okay, rest again. Not showing them to you. <laughs> hmm. Oh! Oh! I got my first 3 bar. Dragon Beast Duat. Hmm. Intimidating. And I got Brothers of Wisdom and Jalaga. Which is double R. So I need like 3 more of it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 1 to 1 now. Whoever, whoever gets the last 2 R wins. Uh, okay, fine. Whoever's side wins. Alright, I got. Uh, that's the PG for yep. for Darkness PG. Seal. Yep. Uh, I got nothing. Res, Oni. Okay. Oh yeah. Two more packs left. How many? Oh, how many? How many? How many? So many packs. Uh, I'm slowly opening because I got pause to show. Okay, fine. Oh, 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 oh showing on the net. Alright, got another one. This is uh, Remedy Angel. 
Did you trigger for Angel Feather? No, that's for a Paladin. Oh, Royal Paladin. It's not a high beast, as a lot of people would like to say as a controversy. Yep. Okay. And I open my pack, and then I win. Ah, oh, no! And it just had to be that Minerva. one. Minerva. Triple R. So I got two Triple R's. Damn it. Yeah. Never mind. I have my Saving Grace. Freya. Freya for the win. <laughs> no, your Saving Grace is. Oh, you open all your packs. Your Saving Grace yeah. is. A, a Zia is actually in this set. Nah. Uh, doesn't matter. Very, I don't think it works. It, it's very hard to say. No way. Very, very hard to say. <laughs> okay, fine. So Cat wins again. <laughs> I'm very with Mr. Lux. Alrighty. Oh, last fall. Gusty. Ooh, who? Who is this? It's a card that I'm actually not supposed to I exist, have... but surprisingly he does. Okay, he, he shall not be. Uh... <laughs> no, no, that's not the case. Alright. Hey. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we've shown you all the cards that we have gotten from this one box. Now, not all the cards in this set can be gotten from just this one box. So if you want to see the stuff that we missed out, you can head over to the link below. That will bring us to our blog, soulvanguards.com, where you can see uh, the booster pack, where you can find what other cards that we missed out that's also available in this set. So right now, let's just go straight to them from, from the numbers as we have arranged them. We'll start out with the first one, mm -hmm. the Ever Menacing Drag Abyss Luard. Yep. Yeah. So I'll go through its skill. So uh, its uh, second skill after the strike is uh, a next skill uh, in the Vega Circle. So once per turn, um, when this uh, once per turn you pay the cost, which is so plus one. Then you flip uh, a G unit with the same name as this unit face up. Choose one of your regards and retire it. Then you search your deck for two great ones. Call them to separate regard circles. Shuffle your deck, and if two units uh, were called that has the ritual ability, then your opponent chooses one uh, of his regards and retire it. So mm -hmm. that is its first skill, its main skill. Uh, but its GB3 skill, a continuous uh, ritual cross. Yep. Yeah. So ritual cross uh, for every. Four great ones in your drop zone. All the units in the front row gets plus ten k. Wow. So there's a reason why they they made the ritual cross because that cross means uh, whatever number of uh, ritual uh, great it, ones in your drop. It zone. means X simply. Put. Yeah. So that's in, what I'm just explaining. In, algebra, in algebra terms, it's X. X can be a variable of any number, and it also means uh, and signifies unlimited possibilities. Capcom, please make a new Mega Man X game. Thank you very much. All right, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Hashtag make Mega Man X9, please. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so moving on from, from, from that to um, a Genesis unit. So yeah. this is. Uh, All knowing, I think. No, the. The, the ultimate regalia ultimate of regalia Almighty. Of Almighty Minerva. Yep. Minerva has been out for quite a while and is drawn by the All God Mighty uh, Tony Taka. <laughs> and he's back with another one. So the skill is X skill, uh, Vega Circle once per turn. So plus three regalias. And choose one card from the G zone with the same name as this unit and turn it face up. This unit gets plus 10k and one drive. Mm. Uh, her next skill, auto skill, Vanguard Circle, once per turn GB3, uh, Soul Blast 6 Regalias, and choose one card from your hand and discard it. So when this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, at the end of that battle, stand all of your Regalia uh, units, and during that turn, this unit gets my, uh, and they get minus 3 drive. Mm. So this plays back to the original Minerva where you. Uh, so plus 6 and drop 3 and mm. she restands again as a limit break skill mm. but this one takes it up a lot because you stand Minerva. everything that's that's regalia not just that uh, but it also poses a, an additional problem for regalia decks because you can you have to consider whether you want to play stand triggers in this deck or not uh, previously the more dominant the more people dominant uh, regalia build is the CO Idrisu build where one of the key cards that you really need in the deck is uh, Achilles uh, which is the stand trigger where it's so blasted plus 5k to your Vanguard Mm. But with now with Minerva, uh, you can still play it, but the stand might just hinder your your um, your playstyle. That's actually where I want to to um, object. Okay. <laughs> to an objection Why? right there because they made a new ruling with the stand trigger, whereby if you get a stand trigger, you can uh, you can choose your Vanguard instead of a regard to stand because the skill now states right mm. uh, choose a unit if that unit is a regard standing. Right. Yeah. So if you you can still play stand triggers and then you can just give the stand ability to uh, Minerva itself. She won't stand, but none of your regards will stand. But you can't stand something that's already standing. <laughs> no, no, saying that, so, that if you check and after that you point to her, then you don't have to target a regard to stand. Yeah, correct, but by then your, your, all your regards are standing anyway. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so what's the difference? <laughs> Apparently I missed it, so... Right, moving on, so we have here the the upgrade. To Chrono Jet Dragon, his third form. Yes, and this is Chrono, Chrono Jet Dragon. Dragon Z. <laughs> you 
minutes of O, you know? Yeah, Three minutes of O with that. So, <laughs> but anyways, his skill, the first one is a continuous skill. Uh, your strike cost can also be paid uh, by uh, choosing a great three zodiac time beast from your drop zone and biting it face up. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, its second skill is a uh, soul plus one auto on the Vanguard circle. So, when your G unit strikes, you may pay the cost. If you do, uh, both fighters choose up to one rear guard and send it to the bottom of the deck. Yes. Then, if one or more were put, uh, search your. Uh, hold on. Search your deck for one up to one zodiac time beast uh, with one with the grade higher plus one higher than the the card that was sent back by this effect. Call it to rear guard circle and shuffle your deck. Yes. So this is a weird one for for Guild Chronicle, especially Chrono Jet players, because this is the yeah. first that makes uh, Chrono Jet decks be able to play bind. So you can yeah. actually see uh, Chrono Jet damage builds. Which... I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it is an interesting concept now that, that Chrono Jet himself can now play damage. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we move on to the next uh-huh. one. So this is actually a, a, reprint. a reprint actually. So, yep. so this um, is the Rikudo Stealth Dragon Tsukumo Rakan. Yes. Alrighty, so you wanna read the skill? Okay. So uh, it's skill GB2, Corner Blast 2, and choose one card choose one card for your G zone and turn it face up. Mm-hmm. So when this thing appears on the Mega Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, uh, your opponent chooses four cards in their hand and bind the remaining cards. And the end of the turn, bind those cards, uh, return those bound cards back to your hand. Yes. Back to the hand. Yes. So this is actually a reprint for a card that was originally in uh, the first uh, technical booster. Technical booster, yes. Yes. So and this card was actually very very strong and was very very difficult to get. So uh, they decided to reprint it here in GPT fourteen. Yeah. Uh, which makes uh, Numatama a little bit much more dangerous now that this is a bit more accessible. Yep. Uh, with that regard. So moving on, we go into the um, double R's right now. So the first card I have here is Remedy Angel. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, this is your heal trigger for Royal Pardon, which is the same as most of the heal triggers that were released previously, mm-hmm. which is. Uh, when this unit is paid for the cost of calling a G Guardian, uh, you may pay the cost which is bind this unit face up and choose uh, another heal trigger uh, from your drop zone and bind it face up. Then if you do, you may counter charge one, also charge one. Yep. Yep. It's become a staple, but again, uh, I think we've gone through this many times before. Why the reason we, we just don't understand why it, this has to be a thing to, to fill up the double R slot in all these kind of boosters. Yes, it I could have been it could have been like a, a fighter's collection thing. Or uh, rare. Because uh, uh, if you're gonna release it out for, for all the clans, right, you might as well make it as available as possible, especially exactly. when it's this important as yes. well. So uh, moving on, so we have the, the Sentinel here for Dark Regulars. Yep. So what's the name, Debs? Uh, Zetsuen no Datenshi Akura Shieru. Mm. So she's a Sentinel, she's a PG. Uh, the normal skill, when this unit appears on the Guardian Circle, you pay the cost, which is drop one card from your hand. If you do, then choose one of your units with the Darkness ability during the battle, it cannot be hit. Mm-hmm. Now she, her other skill is an X skill from the drop zone, GB2 Darkness. Color Blast 1 and choose one card from your uh, drop zone, uh, from your drop zone or soul. Uh, not named across shield and bind it face up. Then you return this card to your hand from your drop zone. Mm. So she's a she's a secondary PG to uh, the other one, uh, the other succubus. I, com- I forgot what the name is. Yeah. So, but this one is actually really really good to play for copies of it because of how fetchable this card actually is. Uh, yeah. Uh, from the soul or from the drop zone, I believe. So correct. Yeah. Oh, choose another one of the same name. Sorry. Yeah. Not uh, not not named. Yeah. So it is a really really strong uh, sentinel to consider when you are upgrading your. Uh, Deck for, yep. uh, for this new stuff here in mm-hmm. GPT 14. Alright, so moving on, we have uh, none of the hill triggers. It has the same skill as Remedy Angel, but we'll go through it anyway. Yep. So, this is uh, the regalia of something. Something. <laughs> so, in Japanese, it's. Uh, her, in Japanese, her name is. Hoshi no Jingi Eir. Eir. So, she's been upgraded from her original form. And the ah, skill yeah. is uh, it's same as Remedy Angel. When this unit is uh, discarded for the cost of calling a G Guardian, uh-huh. uh, you may pay the cost, which is bind this unit and another heal trigger from your drop zone. Uh, if you do, you may counter charge one or soul charge one. Yes. I would say that you will take the soul charge because you want to. Actually, it depends on the situation. I'm not too sure how the, the current Regalia build will be like, mm-hmm. but Regalia has always known to not use a lot of counter blast. Yeah. So, soul charge would be a more important thing. Yeah, I predict soul charging will be a more important thing. But so, at the same time, because you're no longer using the Legion build, you might have not much cards left in your deck. So, yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is true. So, what is uh, potentially replacing the Legion build? 
Uh, which is actually... A card that uses counterblasts out there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is uh, Eichi no Jingi Angelica. She is back. Goddess of Wisdom Angelica. This one yes. shares the same name as the Limit Break. So what's the skill? Oh, really? Yeah, it shares the same name. So you can't oh, play both of them at the same time. What a waste. Okay, anyway. Yep. Uh, so when this unit appears on a uh, Vanguard Circle, uh, choose one. you may choose one unit, a normal unit from your drop zone and uh, with regarding its name and put it into your soul. If you do, draw a card. Mm -hmm. So uh, her second skill, Vanguard Circle, Counterblast 1. Uh, when your G unit with with uh, regarding its original name, strikes, you may pay the cost. If you do, like, look at the top four cards of your deck, add one card to your hand, the other card to the soul, and uh, the rest to the drop zone. Mm -hmm. So, drop zone, it's uh, it's a place that the regardless really love to play with, especially with a lot of cards that can fetch things from the drop zone back to the deck. Uh, <coughs> so, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but, I didn't, I didn't know this one has the same name as the original uh, Angelica. Yeah, it had the same name as the, the original Angelica and they and you, so you cannot play 4 of the break, right? And 4 of her. Ah uh, yeah, that is kind of a waste. But then again, I think a lot of people will either be playing her with um, with Minerva mm -hmm. or play the limb break with the... Verdandi and... Verdandi, oh, yeah. yes. Uh, but I will see. Uh, yeah, we we'll definitely will see yeah. as we explore all this ourselves. Uh -huh. so. Alright, moving on. So we have here another upgraded unit from the from the past. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Livarot. Yep. Uh, his full name right now is... Uh, you're reading it right now in English. So. Zese no Kishi Livaro. Yes. So, uh, this unit skill is uh, continuous in regard circle. Uh, for If you have a Vanguard with the Brave ability, uh, this unit cannot... No, uh, you this do not. Or if you do not have a Vanguard with the Brave ability, this unit cannot attack. Yes. Yes. And the second ability is a Brave ability auto. So, uh, when this unit attacks, you may if you have an Ultima Vanguard, Vanguard uh -huh. uh, you may pay the cost which is counter plus 1. If you do, then uh, you may search your deck for a grade 2 uh, with the Brave ability, other than uh, not named um, this Levar Rod, yes. and call it to a regard circle, then shuffle your deck. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, this is a combination of uh, Knight of Twin Sword alongside. Uh, now I would say the more viable one would be uh, Levaro with uh, Salaiman. Yeah, yeah. So basically, if you have enough co cost to pay, you can basically chain them indefinitely. Yeah, I'm saying that both both of them got married, and, and this is their child right now. <laughs> Levaro. Liver rot reborn. Wow, so, more like more like liver rotting my soul. <laughs> skill wise, we're talking skill. We're talking skill wise, right? Okay. So All now right. uh, the last card, the, the last card we have here that actually does not exist. Yes. So this is evil god bishop Gastil or evil deity bishop Gastil, uh, depending yeah. on the name. Jashin Shincho Jinkyo Gastil. All right. So what's his actual skill other than it doesn't exist? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, first skill, Vanguard the Regard Circle. At the start of your drive check, if you a uh, drive. Face, right face, sorry. If you have eight or more cards in your soul, uh, choose one rear guard. We we'll choose one grade three rear guard with the darkness ability, and you may return it to your hand. Uh, GB is next skill. Uh, continuous GB two darkness. When uh, when this card would appear on the rear guard circle, uh, choose up to you may okay. Choose up to two grade two cards from your soul. Put them into the drop zone during a turn. That card. Uh, this card will get the abilities of both cards. Yes. So uh, you can also, uh, the, the small text is, you can also activate uh, when this unit is appear, appears uh, mm -hmm. skills. Yes. So, well, for what it is, Gustu is actually pretty darn good. Like, uh, with the only exception that he doesn't have a strike skill. But with a skill like GB2, I, I don't, I, I, I would gladly overlook that. Yeah. It's a shame though, because uh, it, it seemed like a card that was going to be like a, a new staple in Dark Irregulars. Yeah. But it turns out he just ends up being uh, the, the little general to Shahalat's army. Th then again, fine, he so. is a Gustil after all. He's an yeah. evil deity bishop. That is true. Bishops don't do a heck lot actually. That is true, that is true. Or I would one day want to see if somebody actually play a full Gustil deck without any Shahalat in there. I'm that actually looking actually at him right really now. Challenge, so. I'm, I'm looking at him right now, wherever he is. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. So Alright, so this is all the <laughs> stuff that we opened for uh, GPT-4. Now, yep. as mentioned before, uh, we have the post booster pack post in our blog. Yep. There you can see all of the cards that we did not open here, which includes all the ZRs over here. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you want to find out uh, any of the other card skills from there, you can check it out over there. And the same time, follow us on all of our socials, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, join us on Discord so you can talk to myself, Dempster, a uh, few of the rear guards. You can find us on most nights. And last but not least, if you like what you see here and want to support the show directly, do consider supporting us over on Patreon. Links are in the description box below. So with that said, thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.